Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, I'm fool him. Sometimes you gotta send a woman to a man's job, you know what I mean? In this case, I got here like a grown motherfucking man. And the niggas better let you know. Catch you wearing a hurt, you know what I mean? Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Got my guy with me. Showtime, SP, to nobody that knows bodies. Home 23, mm -hmm. Remy Ma is putting out the next event. You know what I'm saying? The new Chrome 23 event is going down June 11th. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She's um, spinning the block. Spinning the block. Ain't Ladies and gentlemen. One, one and done. Ladies and gentlemen is the name of the new card. Oh. The bag's got to be right because she she's learning some things, mm -hmm. learning along the way, and spinning the block again to put together another event. And I must say this in correspondence to Remy and putting these events together is giving people opportunities to get bread, exposure. You know the battles that they do on Chrome Twenty Three. They they don't how they say they put them joints out the next day. Yeah, like they don't do no oh we're gonna release the battle. The next month or nothing like that. They literally, like when the battles happen, you could go watch them joints on YouTube right after they happen. Yeah. Like immediately the stream was right there. Mm -hmm. I love that. Y'all got that over every league. Battle happened, you could watch it, you could rewind it. Ain't no app, ain't nothing. Just right there. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. um, that's fine. Uh, secondly, like I said, being able to provide ladies and now gentlemen too mm. with a chance to battle each other we've seen intergender cards before the battles on this card are as such um rum nitty versus young gaddis av versus official prestavia versus j2 and vixen the assassin versus miss hustle now the vixen versus miss hustle is crazy because they've done two on twos together they're like friends yeah they're like friends you know what i'm like saying like sisters yeah i never thought i'd see them battle you know what i'm saying it's like I've seen them actually do two on twos. They battled, I think it was Clean and Bankhead before. Beat the shit out of them. Ooh. I mean, pistol with the with the wood hand. It was it was going a little crazy. Damn, damn. So, I, I, I think that's the type of battle that, um, since I don't think Hustle and her have smoke, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a friendlier battle. Probably more like a, you know, Casey versus uh, uh official. official. Yeah. Like why 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 we is that is that a thing? Like are we, is that a thing that's gonna be a continuous thing? I don't like this. I don't I don't I don't I don't know if this is a coincidence, but it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. 
<laughs> I'm gonna just keep saying that. I don't, I don't like that the sisterly battles and the the friend battles and stuff like that. If they, if it ain't gonna be complimentary, <laughs> like it's not a compliment battle. I kind of don't want to see it. Like I don't want to see team on team, gang on gang. I don't want to see that. Okay. But hey, who do I got um, winning though? Who do you got winning? You okay? So so did one person battle rock? Mm -hmm. The other person. Has not battled rock. Yeah. What does that, uh, that do anything? What does this have to do anything? I'm just saying Vixen don't duck no smoke. I'm just saying the people who, who Vixen goes up against is the people that hustle is either had negotiation. I mean, Vixen battled coffee, right? I'm just saying so. It's like, oh. it's the thing that happens here that could that could possibly be. Vixen don't duck no smoke. Mm -hmm. So because of the fact that it's her friend, her sister, or big sister, or whatever. She ain't about to let her just clip her. <laughs> but uh, Hustle got a chip on her shoulder because Kotor definitely won last time. So yeah, and you gotta this prove is, this is, you gotta prove it's yours because this is a situation where Remy's literally throwing you an alley oop. You know what I'm saying? Again? Like you gotta, <laughs> you gotta clean. You gotta, you gotta definitely be a winner in that scenario. But Vixen is a dog, so it's kind of like you know she, <laughs> she ain't easy to beat. Uh, you got Rum Nitty and Gaddis. It's, you know, and the, the thing I do see about a lot of these names, whether they be on URL and things like that, mm -hmm. I think they they're cool with Chrome Twenty Three, so battlers can you know do what they want to do. So Rum Nitty versus Gaddis. Uh, Gaddis is dope. Gaddis is still finding herself, even though she's came back a little over a year ago. Mm -hmm. You know, to see her when I first saw, I think it was versus Lady Caution, and then she had some other joints, mm -hmm. and then she had you know the the most recent. One was against Jazz the Rapper, and from a legendary perspective, she's gonna get that battle because, you know, Gaddis is 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 one of them ones when it comes down to female battle rap. Um, she has a good resume, not a, not the greatest. Uh, I do think the greatest female resume is Official's resume. Yeah. You know, like res Official's resume, bar none, line for line, yeah. person for person for yeah. person. She's battled so many. She's battled greats. She's battled the Arsenal. People she's battled feel, disasters. Man. She's battled mad females, like she's battled everybody. I was just thinking so, totally on females, whatever you, yeah, yeah you whatever, know. whoever you got on your. Official's resume. Yeah, official's resume. Like that. Yeah. Like her resume. There's a reason why she like, battled DNA, because they have. Her resume is like that. Official so, resume is like. Uh, but yeah. But like I was saying, when it comes to uh, females in battle rap, you know, Gaddis is always going to have a lot of respect and a lot of acclaim. Mm -hmm. She's battling against Rum Nitty. For for me, I don't think it's a good idea for Rum Nitty to be taking this battle, especially if he's going to be in the tournament, because he's got a tournament coming up, you know. And I I, I would I would envision him making it past the first round. I'm just saying, if he don't make it past the first round, he ain't really got much to worry about because he can go and get this bag and go on and get that bag on, on June 11th too. But uh, I, I envision him making it past the first round, so. How are you gonna write for two people at one time? I don't know. I've never seen a fatigued Rum Nitty. So mm -hmm. it's like, for him to be like, oh, I can understand if he's not a, like his bars aren't 100%. Like you could tell where Nitty took his time. Mm -hmm. And you could tell where Nitty was just kind of just, you know he he still won't bar you one line for line. But right. you could tell when he just phoned it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, You don't want to phone it in for Gaddis. Because mm -hmm. Gaddis could either she can either die mm -hmm. or cook you. Mm -hmm. It's one or the other. It's either she loses and it's like pretty clear, or it's clear on her side. Like it's 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 one or the other. Um, but you know, shock level and you know, scare factor. It's from Nitty. Like from Nitty. From Nitty. From Nitty. It's from Nitty. Like that yeah. over me. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pick. But yeah, as you indefinite listen. You got that listen, you know where you gotta come back from. So I would love for you to come back from out of that grave and cook somebody who was most feared and that would definitely send a shockwave to all of the other ladies. You would definitely get a guaranteed then, pack. Then a fire one is Ab versus official. Like that's a that's a really good battle. Like both could punch at a high level. Uh official gets really like she's adding another name to her already goat resume. You know what I'm saying? Battle Rock already. Bat now she's battling Av. She's got a solid resume. What you think, man? How you right. feel about it? I, I I don't know what to say until the battle actually happens. Mm -hmm. 
Um, this is actually, I think this is Av's second time being off the, the URL platform, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm saying this is the first time where I've seen Ev not on URL other than um, uh, uh, when he did uh, 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 Philly, mm -hmm. Battle Rap Academy. Mm -hmm. um, so, with Ev, it doesn't, you going to get the same Ev no matter where you go. So, I got to go with Ev on that one. It's, it's no male bias. That, it's Av. Like, it's a lot of people you don't count Av out against, and that's the people who are considered anglers or, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's somebody who, if this was, if we're going bar for bar, to me, Av is going to hit harder um, and faster than official, but official can swing just as hard. It, the battle could go either way, but I got Av. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, I like, I like, uh. I like having that scenario. I mean, officials got some shit, but you know, making sure that they, that crowd is gonna be there and it's gonna be in New York. So hopefully her shit gets off and it, and it goes over well. Yeah. Um, last but not least, J2 and Prestavia. Prestavia has Fonz coming up in the tournament. I, I mean, <sighs> if she gets past Fonz, you know, she's digging herself in a deeper bag because she's got a 100K tournament where she's got to try to win round for round and then she's gonna be battling against the J2 who's going to be definitely trying to make his mark in that battle, too. I don't have her getting past Fonz in the first round. That's just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. So she she probably will have the time to write for J2. But how do you feel? Uh, I personally think that Prestavia is getting the looks that she deserves on mm -hmm. both platforms. But, mm -hmm. you know, she's definitely getting just the first battles or the, the bottom of the cards type style. <coughs> um, right. This can be this can be the one that actually takes you over. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you beat Yoshi, but for some uh, not for some reason, but yes, you beat Yoshi, but Yoshi ended up getting Charlie Clips, and you got uh, who did she just battle? Uh, she just didn't she just do King's first quiz? Or no, no, she, she no she was she, she yeah that's what I'm saying. So she had one around with Danny. Uh, I don't know. It's up there. So let me let me scratch that statement. Prestavia is owning it, but I want you to be. Go going up into in the ranks like you need to be up in that mid mid card and the only way to do that is you have to cook somebody who don't really get cooked like that he lose mm -hmm. but for 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 a lot of people if we if we really you know point out the elephant in the room like it's a preference if you don't like what J2 says it's mainly because you're just, that's not your, your 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 style that's not your MO that's not your your cup of tea if you will but the bars are still there. The bars are good. You know what I'm saying? Like his bars are great. If you don't like his delivery, that's fine too. A lot of people don't like that 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 nasally blade sound. But mm -hmm. I mean, at the same time, it's a sound. It is a creative sound. Um, creativity, uh, originality, uh, a mm -hmm. standout. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like when you hear the name J, when you hear J2, it's either one or the other. It's either you like him or you don't like him. Mm -hmm. And for the most part. The reason why you don't like them is maybe because you have your own insecurities. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. let's 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 really get that out the way. Right. Do I think that J2 can beat Prestavia? Yes. Mm -hmm. But there's one thing that Prestavia has that J2 doesn't, and it's stage presence. Mm -hmm. It is that 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 uh, Prestavia has an electricity with her, and she not really cursing like that either. Like, you get what I'm saying? So it's just like. For her to be thinking that way, and like I said, she's she gives me that chain of Ashley style, but for me it's a little bit better, it's a little bit more polished if you ask me. Like it's a little bit more modern if you ask me. So I think I'm gonna go with Prestavia in this one. Oh uh, yeah, I got Prestavia winning this. Um, Prestavia gets really busy uh, from the from the limited sample size of stuff that I've heard, and uh, you know it is what it is. So. But J two could win this though. Like it ain't like he can't. I I. He, he's pretty shocking. If he, if J, if J two don't go overboard like the battles that, you know, that are you know looked down upon. Mm -hmm. If he just keeps that same crucible vibe, like whatever took him through. I mean, I liked him in the Ultimate Madness tournament. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. if he, I liked J two style. It's just certain things that he has to polish, mm -hmm. clean it. He got it's the it's the polishing. So he has it. Mm -hmm. He has the potential to be Prestavia, but yes. Just want to just keep putting that out. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. But it is what it is. You know what to do.